halftime, CIAA CMA final game number two. The winner of Fayetteville State versus Virginia State will go on to the CIAA championship where they'll take on Bowie State. I have the honor of talking to Colonel Jerry Carter. They got Melvin, but it's Jerry, right? That's right. That's yes, right. sir. I am so happy to have you with us Thank you. this afternoon from the Marines. And I want to say this honestly before we do anything else. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you with us today. Well, thank you very much. It's thank, a pleasure to be here. Thank you for all you do, all the men and women of the Marines, what they do. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor. Now, I've been told that you have a very unique story with the Marines and your own life. Could you share that with me? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's really unique, but uh, it is a good story, uh, one that where the Marine Corps has done quite a bit for me. And so I come from a very humble beginning, a uh, young man out of York, Pennsylvania, where I didn't have a lot of opportunity. And uh, I'll tell you, we got a lot in common with uh, the CIAA student athletes here. Uh, same thing as I had in my life, wanted some opportunity. The Marine Corps has given me an opportunity to go to school, so uh, pay for my undergraduate degree. I'm a product of a historical black, uh, black college, proud member of uh, Morehouse College, class of 92, yes sir. And uh, so they pay for that undergraduate degree paid for me to go to um, National Intel University, also gave me an opportunity to go to Harvard, uh, so I'm alumni of Harvard Business School and alumni of the uh, Harvard Kennedy School, all in the Marine Corps dime, so student athlete, academic scholar, uh, courage, honor, and commitment, absolutely. You're everything that we all would like to be. Thank you, sir. Thank Th you. That is fantastic. Talk to me about your experience at the HBCU, how it prepared you for the Marines, how the Marines have helped your life. Well, a couple of defining things for me, I would say, in my life, and that is, number one, uh, the way my family has uh, raised and, and given me an uh, upbringing. Uh, but the second thing is certainly the Marine Corps and the Historical Black College. I would absolutely point out some of the values. I talked about courage, honor, commitment, and integrity. And some of the values that we learned in the Marine Corps absolutely apply to the Historical Black College and also translate into being a student athlete as well. And those are the things that I would uh, remember and uh, carry on for the rest of my life. Real, real quickly, let me ask you, the, the Marines are giving an, uh, honoring our student athletes at sure. the ball game. The athleticism honoring those student athletes in the Marines, how, what's that mean to you personally? Well, it means a lot. I mean, uh, these athletes that are out here putting it in every day, same type of thing that we prepare for in the Marine Corps. So up at the dark, uh, 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 at the, in the early morning, uh, really pressing it, preparing your mind, body, and spirit for what you have to do to compete and win. And as you know out here, it's not an individual that can win. It's got to be a team, and that's the same thing we promote in the Marine Corps. On behalf of everyone at the CIAA and myself and all that are watching this, Thank you for everything you have contributed and all the people, men and women of the Marines. Well, I thank, thank you. you so very much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. Continue to be safe. Thank you. Colonel Carter, a halftime guest, an honored halftime guest. So happy to be with you. Thank you again. 28-26, Fayetteville State leads Virginia State.